Last time on Rockin' the Oldies. I think I want this guy to come over here and take this shot. Alright, this guy, take the shot. Take a knee, actually. Just take some random shots. And the random shot pays off. Welcome to the team. We've got the new guys. Greetings and salutations to the denizens of the Cyberdog Nation, the Redditors of the XCOM subreddit, and all the peoples of YouTube and the interwebs. This is Ivan Dogovich rocking the oldies with the 65th episode of Let's Play Retro XCOM Terror from the Deep. In our last episode, folks, we cleared out another small Gilman sub, brought two new team members on board, and got our transmission resolvers online. So I am completely excited about that. We've got a couple things we, I want to get done this time. Maybe a base maintenance episode. We may get another tactical mission started. We'll see. But we got a bit of business to do. So first off, now that our transmission resolvers are online, we can dismantle our wide array sonar and our standard sonar because the transmission resolver will pick up 100% of everything in the area. So that's actually a good thing. Now I can't dismantle this here because I've got to have the transmission resolver next to something else. So it looks like we're gonna have to build a, maybe a general storage because they are the quickest to build here at Virgo, Maine. And how much is another workshop? How much is that workshop in the window? Um, I do want to get another workshop here in Virgo, Maine, just as, you know, it's going to take another month to do, yeah, so it's, it's going to take half our money, but, um, I do want to do it, because it's going to give us some more capability, um, okay, I'm going to build it over here, that will work, that will work, okay, so Virgo, main is set up we've got this coming online all right i'm pretty sure we never got right we never got a sonar up over here in marbazir deep okay so we've actually got in marbazir deep only general stores and transmission resolver we need to put on and that's that's really the minimum we need for a sensor base huh i'm wondering about putting a living quarters in it um, so no, I don't think so. Not at this time. And we've got the same minimum over here, which is fine. Our transmission resolve will come online there. Great, 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 great. Okay. So we also, at this point, due to the fact that we just spent a bunch of money on a workshop, should probably sell off a little more gear. So I will queue that up and bring you right back. All right, selling off some of our med kits that we've been manufacturing. Selling off a few more sonic cannons as well. Um, selling off some sonic pulsars uh, as well as um, Gilman corpses. We're still hanging on to our ion beam accelerators, although they, they are worth a ton of money. They, we're going to hang on to them for a bit because they can tend to be something that we will need. Um, and they can also tend to get a little bit hard to come by. So I'm going to keep a supply of those around. If we're going main, we should have some more med kits to sell. We do. Let's get some of them sold. All right. And let's just check our manufacturing. Still making 50 of those. Good. Check our manufacturing over here. We're still making some more of those. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. All right. One of the things that I also wanted to do out here. Um, so we have had two, we've seen what? One sub we missed here, another we shot down, another we shot down. So we've seen three small subs this month. I'd like to take a look at the graphs. So North Atlantic, which is where we've seen all the activity. And conversely, XCOM has done some, some work there. That's 400 points versus the aliens, 80 points. So we're still on track to do better than them. South Atlantic, nothing. North Pacific, South Pacific, nothing. Med, nothing. All right. I'm looking for an unexpected spike of enemy activity somewhere else. And so far, so good. All right. So we're not seeing a lot of enemy activity anywhere else. The only other thing we've got is XCOM activity in the South Pacific, which was our terror cruise. 
um, at the beginning of the month. So, okay, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the graphs. Looks like we're going to get a decent May um, through here pretty well. Okay, let's see. So there's that. Let me check this one more time. So, oh, I want to see... Yeah, 2.8 million. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I am going to recruit a Triton. That's another transport ship. That will give us some more capabilities. Um, it will give us the capability to send out extra... Um, we can do other missions from Burgo, Maine that will allow us to intercept landed subs, down subs, etc. We have eight Aquanauts at Burgo, Maine. In my mind, that is just not enough. We're going to need at least another six. Yeah. Okay. So let's recruit another six Aquanauts here. And, okay, that's good. That is good. All right. Okay. Looking good there. Check the graphs. Dismantle the sonars. Looking through my notes here. Got a new Triton. Setting up for extra missions. Okay, we got the decks. So looks like, looking good. Okay, I think at this point we are ready to rock and roll. See if we can get to the end of the month. See if we've got another terror mission or something more horrible. So let's kick it in. Some fast forward. Get this moving. Get this moving. Alrighty. Sub pen done. Okay, groovy. One of the things I want to see is another alien mission. Okay, so we've got a Triton and a bunch of folks. All right, that's good. That's good. Transmission Resolver complete out there, too. So now we've got a Transmission Resolver. Now, one of the things I wish we had was the range showing up here. The Transmission Resolver is really good, and I think it's like a 1,000 miles or 1,000 kilometers or something. It's, it's actually pretty doggone big. Um, and you should spot 100% of the alien subs. Now, one of the things I'm noticing in our coverage is we really don't have something down south. So maybe our next, our next um, base will be down here now near Antarctica. We've seen a bit of activity in the South Atlantic some months too. So it's probably good to drop another base down there. Actually, let's do that. Let's see what it's going to cost to put a new base down there. Down here, 750. Yeah, I think we'll hang on for that. Um, and just see what happens at the end of the month. Go, go, go. Research complete. Yes, Sonic Oscillator. That is beautiful. A powerful auditory oscillator creates waves of sonic force, destroying the target by vibrating into molecular bonds. Damage 150, range 55 kilometers, accuracy 50, and it's got a quick reload time. So this is a new submarine weapon. Now, the deal is we can, we can research another one, um, and we can now manufacture those. So, okay, at this point, we need to we need to select a new project. One of the things I want to select... Um, okay, I want to go with the Magnetic Ion Armor. Magnetic Ion Armor is, a, is an upgrade. Whoa, what did I do here? Okay, so I started it with uh, no scientists. We're going to kick a hundred scientists at it. This is an upgrade to our Ion Armor. It's... Um, it's got some better protection, and it's got some better capabilities. We'll check that out when we get it. Okay, now we can produce the Sonic Oscillator. Okay, so we do want to get that producing. Manufacturing at Burgo, Maine. We're going to kick down the med kits here to a number 43. That's fine. We'll leave one guy on this. And then we're going to start making some sonic oscillators <laughs> new production sonic oscillator requires 15 zerbite takes up a lot it takes up eight workspace that's fine it cost two hundred and twenty six thousand dollars all right um, so we won't make a lot of those at this exact second but we will make some I want at least two no I want four I want 
I'm gonna I'm gonna make three to start with. Yeah, three to start with. Okay. All right, and the Sonic. Oh man, we're gonna make those fast too. <laughs> That'll be nice. That will be nice. Okay. All right, good. I'm I'm happy with that. We're coming up to the end of the month. Uh, I think I am gonna sell off the extra med kits really quick. Med kits. Sell those jokers off. Okay, I want to keep a few for my Triton. Uh, sell that. Sell off these med kits because we're manufacturing some over here to you know you can't act act. Sell sell the med kits over here. And all right, yep, let's kick it in. Let's see about getting to the end of the month. We've got our sonic oscillators done already. All right, we need to do a little bit of transferring from Bergo main transfer to Rendog Prime. We want to transfer sonic oscillators. Let's transfer two of them. Yes, transfer. Is there anything else we need to transfer here? No, we need to go the other way. Transfer that. It's going to cost 140 bucks. Yeah, it's really cheap to transfer between bases, which is good, which is good. Coming up, let's hit the end of the month. Med kit's done, Virgo main, okay, that's fine. Sonic oscillators have arrived. Oh, we, have, we need to get some more stuff built at Virgo main. Yes, Sonic oscillators. Base, Rendog Prime, Equip Submarine, Barracuda 1. We've got dupe heads and we want sonic oscillators now. Yay! Okay, the beauty of this is that it has a hundred shots and it shoots farther than our torpedoes. It's just a lovely weapon. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so that is rearming, which means if we get a submarine in the next couple hours, we may not be able to respond to it. Okay, right, uh, Burgo Main, build stuff. Make some more stuff. Building nothing. At this point, I think we're gonna hold off on some more Sonic Oscillators. We will want more. However, let's get some more med kits. S make some more stuff to sell some more stuff. Right, units to produce. Let's just bump it up to like 100. Yeah, that's fine. 113. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Let's check out our manufacturing here at Rendog Prime. Still making that almost done there. That's fine. Um, I'm just gonna bump it up another. Yeah, bump it up some more so we can keep just making more. Okay, Geoscape. Kick it in. Kick it in. 31st of May, and we're gonna get to the end of the month. Excellent. All right, we've actually got a nice funding change, a good monthly rating. All right, everybody's happy. Looking good. Looking good. Molecular control training at Rendog Prime. Here we go. Here we go. We get to see the results of our Ren of our MC training. So right off the bat, you can see MC strength and MC skill. And we've kind of weeded out a lot of our are less skilled are less strong i should say less strong individuals just due to the fact that as they've been attacked we've shipped them off to burgo main but what we've got is anybody really with 80 plus is a strong soldier and will do well in um in an mc attack role 75 is pretty strong and will pretty much resist anything. 50s, well, we may see here. Um, Kazi hasn't really got attacked. Rowana is 56, but we will not use them in an offensive role. However, Barrett at 96 has already got an MC skill of 24, which is good. Barrett is going to be a superstar with MC strength. Also, Wintergrave will be too. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, okay, so this is showing our, showing the results. We will 
um, take everybody out except uh, Wintergrave. Uh, I'll probably leave Nightmare in and Barrett. And then we're going to get some more folks in. That is excellent. Uh, let's see. Anybody else that we have up here? We had Ellis, who's a 77. That's solid, but not, not um, terrific. We'll get everybody else who's on board um, in the training as well. So that's my like, control training in training. No. Okay, so that's a yes, no there. No. Uh, Kazuma, no. You don't need to be in there anymore. Tom Jang, no. Don't need to be in a Rowena, no. All right, so we've got uh, three in training. So let's get everybody else in. Okay, so next I want to test Hawkeye, G Tiger, Pneumatic, Pluto, Doug Squirrel. Got space for one more. One more, let's see here. J Pero. Let's get you guys tested. Anybody else that I want to see right away? No, nope, I guess that's pretty good. Okay. You guys are now in training, looking good. Okay, excellent. Okay, I'm excited about that. Let's check our base money. Yeah, even with all that extra money, we are spending so much we're actually in the negatives. So let's actually sell off some of our gear. Um, I don't want to produce it, I want to sell it. I want to sell more med kits, make up that deficit already. Okay, sell that. Yep. Okay. What are we researching again? We are researching the magnetic ion armor. Okay. Let's see if we can get out to that breakthrough. All right, here we go. The very first alien sub transmission that we can actually pick up. So this is really cool. Uh, compared to before where we would only get this top um, data, small, very deep, heading west and speed, we now have it as the subtype. It's an escort. The race is Gilman. Alien surface attacks. Alien surface attacks means this is a terror ship. It's heading toward the South China Sea, so we can expect to have a terror mission over there fairly shortly. Okay, so the bad news is... Oh, no, 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 stop. Oh. The bad news is that... Oh, he landed. So the bad news is that... Uh, <laughs> they can hear <laughs> Intercept with Triton 2 from Burgo, Maine. We may be able to catch him on the ground. The bad news about... Where he went is we don't have an interceptor in the area. And if I hadn't just clicked OK and stayed on five seconds and centered on him, you know, if we had an interceptor in the area, we may have been able to shoot him down. OK, I think we're sending the B team. So this is all the guys from Burgo, Maine. They're closer. This is Burgo, Maine right here. They may get there. Oh, gee. So the bad news is they don't have any flares. I really want to take this sub down, but it's nighttime. Oh, dang it. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's the one thing I didn't do at Burgo Main. I didn't buy chemical flares. So that's going to leave us really at a disadvantage. It's only Gilman, though. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Uh, oh god, a judicious use of high explosives. We may be able to handle this. Let's go for it. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, what am I thinking? Um, if he takes off, what we'll probably get is a terror mission. I won't respond with this Triton with the terror mission. I will um, intercept with our main team out of Rundog Prime. Oh gosh. Well, the other thing is, no, we there's not. It's not possible for us to get the morning happening first. Oh. Oh, he, he, he took off. He took off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Uh, patrol, just stay right there. Yeah. All right, watch him fly around a little bit. Watch him fly around, he's coming down. We're probably gonna get a port terror mission or something. Will you land again? Oh, and a daytime. Yeah, see, I just don't want to, um, I don't want to intercept him with this team if it's a terror mission. Well, maybe, it's in the daytime. They could handle that. Okay, wait, 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 wait. It's a daytime. It's an escort. No, get him. Let's go get him. B team, you're on deck. Go. Go, go, go. On deck. Yes. Oh, research complete first. <laughs> okay, research complete. Magnetic ion armor. An enhancement for the ion armor incorporating the magnetic array technology to allow full freedom of movement in the aquatic environment. Front armor is 142 up from 130-ish. Behind rear lower armor is all much better. Okay, allocate research. Next to research. Next to research, we will research a Gilman corpse. Gilman corpse. Start you. Oh, get you moving. And good, and good. And good, and good. We can now produce the magnetic ar ion armor, which is good. We will do that. Mm. Not here. Yeah, this is the wrong place for it. Um, actually, go ahead and let's get it in here before, so I don't forget it. So we've got oh, Burgo Main. The funds are so stinking low. Sell sack. Do we have any more med kits? Yeah, sell five more med kits. Sell that. It's probably going to cost us a bunch to make some magnetic ion armor. And we don't have enough workspace. What? Alright, we'll have to check that out next time. But let's get into our first mission. Yes, we want to begin the mission. B team is on deck. They are about to land. I will equip the sub and we'll take a peek to see what we're facing. Okay, we are on the seafloor. Looks like we've got a coral formation. All right, these take a quick look around the sub. All right, look that way. Good. Sean, come on out. Check around there. Okay. Small, small sub. All right. Okay, so we may be facing just a few little dudes here. Um, we've got some rookies on board. Um, and we've got some some of our other uh, clones out with us too. So we'll do a bit of, bit of work here on this mission. But that will be for the next episode, folks. I do want to thank you for joining me. If you'd like to join the ranks of our XCOM team, we've got some more rookies who may be getting promoted. Looking forward to having more of you along. This episode of Rockin' the Oldies, a retro let's play with Ivan Dogovich, has been brought to you by Dogcraft.net, the XCOM subreddit, and PETC. Viewers like you make the series possible. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is Ivan Dogovich. Cheers! <laughs>